Salutations book lovers, my name is Samantha and today we're going to be doing another author binge and we're going to be reading a ton of Johanna Lindsay. I am so excited. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know, I am doing a series on my channel, I call it author binge and it's basically me just binging a bunch of authors books. I try to work through their backlists. I have been picking authors that I've never read from just because that's more exciting for me. I've already done Lisa Kleypas and A.S. King which I will link both of those videos down below. And now we are going to be doing the queen, Johanna Lindsay. I feel like she is an absolute just icon in the romance community. When I think of historical romance, I think of Johanna Lindsay. So the fact that I have never read a Johanna Lindsay, we need to fix that right now. Right now. Okay, let's talk about the books. <laughs> Normally with author binge videos, I read three, maybe four books from the author. I feel like that gives me like a good good judge if I'm going to like the author's writing, if I want to read more from them. Johanna Lindsay has an extensive backlist. Like, I don't even know how many books she has, but she has so many books, and I don't think three books would really, like, allow me to get a feel for her writing. So I have five books that I'm planning on reading this week. I hope to get to all of them. When I posted on Instagram asking you guys for recommendations when it comes to Johanna Lindsay, Everybody, and I literally mean everybody, said A Gentle Rogue was their absolute favorite book. I needed to read it, and I thought I had it, like, as I was getting all the books ready. I swear I had this book, but I don't know where it is. I did look on Scribd, though, and there is an audiobook available, so I'm probably going to listen to the audiobook as I work, as I play Animal Crossing. I always like to have an audiobook because I feel like I can get through them really fast. So we will be reading that. I have no idea what it's about, but I know that it's everybody's favorite. So the next two books that we're going to be reading, or I'm going to be reading, are a part of a series. So we have Fires of Winter and Hearts of Flame. These are a Viking romance. Hearts of Flame was the buddy read for the historical romance readathon. It was on my TBR and I just never got to it. I've heard nothing but great things about this book. So I want to read it and I'm definitely someone who has to read books in order. I know when it comes to historical romance you don't have to read books in order but I like reading I like reading a series in order. I'm over explaining. So I'm going to be reading the first and second book. I think the second book is based off these main characters kid. Yes I think. All I know is, is that it's a viking romance with like really strong independent women and we're here for that. If I end up liking the series, I do have the third book. Um, so we might read that, but I know for sure I want to get to both of these. Next up, I'm going to be reading a book that I just recently hauled in like my eBay massive book haul. I've been hauling a lot of historical romance recently. I will leave those videos down below as well. But we got a gentle feuding in that box of books and it looked really interesting. The cover is really beautiful. I don't know a lot about this other than it's a Scottish romance. And then next up we have Man of My Dreams. I I picked this book strictly for the step back. This is one of those classic historical romance step backs that you see everywhere. You know, she's just covering his naughty bits and we have Fabio and it's it's great. So I really hope to get to this one. Again, I don't know a lot about it, but it's Johanna Lindsay and we're going to read it. Okay, so those are the five books that I am planning on reading. Hopefully we'll get to all of them. It is the weekend, so I don't have to work. So I'm hoping that I can just like fly through these books. I hope I love Johanna Lindsay. These author binges have been going really, really well. And I hope we can continue on that train. So... I'm gonna start reading, I'm gonna go take a bath, and I will update you guys when I have more progress. Okay. <sighs> this video is gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> so, hi. I'm coming at you, I don't even know like 11 30 11 something 11 o'clock almost midnight and I have done no reading it's two days later from when I filmed the intro and I have not read a single thing that whole like reading montage that I put in with like the cute music and me reading that was a lie it was staged I'm sorry I feel very guilty about it it was all a lie because I have not read one word what is wrong with so we're supposed to be reading Fires of Winter. I had a four day weekend where I didn't have to work and I completely planned to finish all five of these books and that didn't happen. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have 
absolutely no doubt that Johanna Lindsay is going to be awesome. I am actually looking forward to reading these books. I just haven't read them yet. <sighs> I'm a little bit out of breath because I just came up from the stairs. <sighs> I shouldn't be this out of breath. What is going on? I have so many books I want to read. I'm like overwhelmed a little bit with all the books I want to read because I feel like I have so much on my TBR. Just so little time to get to it. I always listen to an audiobook and then I have like a physical book that I'm reading or an ebook that I'm reading and recently I have like all of those and then I decided to do this video. I'm a mess. I'm definitely like the type of person who once I start a book I have to finish it. So I'm like finishing all of these other books. That would be a good video. Like finishing books that I started. Finishing books that I DNF'd. Hmm, I might have to do a video like that. Anyways, I'm finishing all these books that I started before I do this video. I saw Lacey talk about this one series. It's called the Wolf Hotel series. I forget like the names and the order. I think it's like Tempt Me, Teach Me, Break Me. I probably got that out of order, but it's like this forbidden office romance that is just wild absolutely wild the first book was interesting very steamy the second book was trash it was like this absolute train wreck trash I gave it two out of five stars which I normally don't rate books that low yet I continued with the third book I'm reading the third book right now which is why I haven't been reading the Johanna Lindsay books it's like this train wreck that I cannot get off of and I need to finish the series before I move on with another series or books have you guys ever done that? Like, oh, you acknowledge that a book is just absolute trash, but you can't help but read it anyways. That's what I'm going through right now. I thought I would update you guys, even though it's not a ton of updates. I want to get to Fires of Winter tonight, so I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to read until midnight, and hopefully we'll make some progress. Okay, awesome. I should go. I've been blabbing. This video is going to be really long, and it's going to be full of me not reading. I promise next time that I talk to you guys, I will have an update. 100%. Hopefully, we'll get more into this book. It's upside down. Fires of Winter. We're reading it right now. Hi. Hi. Okay, so I just finished the live show that I did with Lisa, Lacey, Jessica, Alexa, Desiree. It was so much fun. I'm going to link all their channels below because it was so much fun. I really hope you guys could watch. But now... My room is a mess. We were talking about historical romances and I was like wanting to show all my setbacks and stuff and now my room is an absolute disaster. Let me let me show you this this mess. Let me show you. So that is my mess of historical romance right now that I desperately need to clean and organize. I don't know why I have this random skull right here. His name is Benny. We keep him near and my wall is dirty. Oh my gosh, too much. Such a mess. There was the laptop. That was my little setup that I was sitting in. Um, it was so much fun. I really loved um, talking on the live show. It was just, it was my first live show and I had an absolute hello. blast. Hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing today? I feel like it has been so long since I've talked to you all. The video footage that you guys have been previewed, that you guys have already watched so far in this video is about a month old. <laughs> I took a major pause on this video. I took a little pause from reading those books and I'm kind of like coming back and wrapping up the video. What has happened since then? I just finished doing a live show talking all about historical romance, which was so much fun. Um, there was a bunch of lovely ladies on the live show. We had Lacey, we had Lisa, we had Desiree, we had Alexa, we had Jessica and myself. So it was so much fun. We talked about historical romance for like two hours. My computer wasn't working like in the beginning of it, but it was so much fun. I think it's still gonna be up on her channel. So I will link it down below. It was on Jessica's channel. I'll also link all of their channels and Instagram pages down below because they all read historical romance and they're just, they're lovely girls. They're lovely people. So yes, that happened. Um, I went to the dentist. I know that, that was a weird transition, but I went to the dentist because I had a filling that fell out and I had a couple cavities that I needed to fix. And I actually filmed, I filmed <laughs> me in the car after being in the dentist because my mouth was so swollen. I'm gonna have to include the footage because I just crack up. Okay, I'm gonna include the footage. One second, let me just like throw in this footage. Okay. 
Look at my mouth. I had to talk to you guys right now because I just went to the dentist and I look crazy. Like this whole side of my mouth is swollen and numb. Nothing hurt. Like I'm totally fine. I did what I needed to do. The dentist was great, but like look at look at my face. <laughs> I'm literally just cracking up because I look absolutely ridiculous. Like that's my own. I don't know. I just thought I would show you guys. Funny, and I'll update you guys with actual book content in a little bit all right bye <laughs> so i just crack up because my mouth was all swollen but yeah so that's everything that happened um i'm gonna talk about some of the books i've already read i still want to read like two more books from johanna Lindsay, just because i feel like she has so many books and i really need to read like at least four or five to get a true overview of her reading style but let me go ahead and talk about the three that i have read so the first one I read was by Fires of Winter. This is a part of a series and I hated this book. <laughs> I, yeah, I gave this book a two star rating, which I didn't expect. I was super disappointed because it was my first historical, like it was my first Johanna Lindsay that I read and I didn't expect to not like it. This book follows our heroine. What is our heroine's name? Brenda, is that her name? I read this book like almost a month ago so Brenna Brenna this book follows Brenna who has an arranged marriage with a Viking her father made a deal with a Viking for them not to raid their town and for them not to raid her town and that his daughter will marry the Viking well they didn't exactly listen to that bargain and they ended up taking her as prisoner. So it follows Brenna and Garrick. Garrick being a Viking and Brenna being his prisoner. Brenna is very strong willed. She prides herself in being able to fight like a man. She prides herself in being rough and tough and independent and strong, which is amazing. And Garrick is also a little um, brutish. He's a Viking. He's very rough and tough as well. I didn't love it because I found their chemistry just a little bit unbelievable. There is a very distasteful blur of consent in this book it this book actually like right in the beginning it opens up with a rape scene and it I don't love the way it was handled one of the women not our main character um gets raped and when they end up confronting the person who did it they decide that you know the acceptable action is that man now has to marry her and that girl was like oh yay I have a husband and it was just it was so weird and like a dubious consent is something that makes me extremely uncomfortable it's not something I enjoy reading in my historical romance or romance in general so that is why I gave it a little bit of a lower rating I also found Brenna extremely stubborn extremely stubborn for like no reason like in one scene there was a scene where they had given her food and they had given her milk and she like threw the milk at the wall because she said milk is for babies and she only drinks alcohol because she's a tough lady and I was just like is that necessary I don't think so so this wasn't my favorite I wouldn't recommend it as far as historical romances go I gave it a two-star rating oh I hate saying that but yeah the second book I read was the second book in the series, and that's Hearts of Flame. The reason I continued with the series is because this was the book in the Historical Romance Readathon that Lacey, Lisa, and Jessica did, and they all loved this book. So I wanted to read it to see how I would like this book, and honestly, these books feel like they're written by two different authors, even though they're in the same series. I gave this book a two star, but I gave this book a four star. I loved this book. So this book follows the kids of this book. It follows the daughter of the couple in the first book. And you follow the daughter who is extremely strong-willed as well. She decides that she is ready to search for a husband, but she doesn't want to marry anyone like in their town. So she decides to hijack one of her brother's ships and be a stowaway so that she can have this amazing adventure. What she didn't realize is that her brother was going to raid a local town and they end up getting caught and taken for prisoner. So again, similar to how the first book is, she becomes the prisoner of our main character, 
Royce? Is that his name? Is his name Royce? I can't remember. Yeah, Royce. She becomes a prisoner of our character, Royce. I actually really liked this because I feel like it was handled a little bit better in this book. Both of the characters were incredibly strong-willed, but they were also very sweet with each other. I don't know how to explain it. Our main character was just like a badass, if I'm being completely honest. In this book, she also dresses up as a boy so that she can kind of pretend to be part of her brother's crew and that um she wants to deceive them so they don't know that she's a woman and she's such a badass when she's fighting and when she's talking she's so confident in herself and I just I loved everything about her but she wasn't too stubborn if that makes sense she wasn't stubborn to the point where it was like dangerous to herself which how I felt the first book was and I also really loved them together Royce was so sweet with her. I don't want to ruin anything but it was so sweet and the steamy bits were super steamy so four stars. The next book that I read was Gentle Rogue with, by Johanna Lindsay. This is part of their Mallory novel series. When I asked you guys what was your favorite Johanna Lindsay almost everyone said it was this one so I knew I had to read it. I was lucky enough to find it at my used bookstore. This was like the third book in the Mall Mallory novel series. Normally I read books in order, but I was able to understand everything that was going on. Our main character goes on a quest to find her betrothed. She was promised to a guy like six years ago, and she goes to find him so that she can marry him. It turns out he wasn't entirely faithful, and he wasn't intending to follow up on their marriage. So she's brokenhearted, and in her quest to go back home, she's an American, and um, I think she was searching in London to find her betrothed. In her quest to find her betrothed, she ends up going on a English ship pretending to be a cabin boy. So all of these books, our main heroine tries to dress up as a boy in the beginning and none of them get away with it. The guy, our male heroine, hero, I can't talk today. None of them get away with dressing up as men. Our male heroes realize it right away. So she is the cabin boy for our pirate Englishman and it, there, it was just so funny. I really did love this book. It was so funny in the beginning because he knew that she was a girl pretending to be a boy, but he like let her act like a boy for a while just to like mess with her. And this book was very humorous. I really enjoyed it. It kind of dragged on toward the end. So I ended up giving a three star. I listened to it half on audiobook, half in the physical book. I did really love it and I would be interested in finishing the series. So yeah, those were the three books that we have read so far. We had a two star, we had a three star, and we had a four star. So how do I feel about Johanna Lindsay so far? I have no idea because I, I'm all over the place. I have enjoyed some of, I enjoyed one story, I really hated another story. I feel like this video is going to be so long. I just, I'm going to get back to reading. We'll eat right now. I'm gonna go eat a pastelon. Uh, for those of you guys who didn't know, I am Puerto Rican, and my favorite meal in the world is pastelon. I'm pretty sure it's a Puerto Rican dish. It might be Caribbean or Dominican. Actually, is it Puerto Rican? Because when I was in Puerto Rico, like last summer, I didn't find many places that sold it. I'm almost positive it's Puerto Rican, um, but it's basically. So basically what a pastelon is, it's kind of like a lasagna, but you have ground meat, sweet plantains, eggs, and a ton of cheese. And it's just, oh, it is perfection. The best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. So I'm very excited. I'm going to go eat that right now. And that had nothing to do with the video, but I just needed you guys to know how excited I was. Okay. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay. I am back. <laughs> We didn't get very far in reading. I went to go edit parts of this video and I realized how incredibly long this video was going to be. So we're going to do a part two to Johanna Lindsay where I'm going to read the rest of the books. I really want to get to Warriors, Woman. This is her time travel romance that just sounds magnifique. I really want to get to that one and look at the cover. The cover is gorgeous. I also really want to get to Man of My Dreams just because so many people have raved about this one. And again, gorgeous step back. And I also want to get to Gentle Feuding by 
Johanna Lindsay. They're all by Johanna Lindsay. So many that I want to get to, but I just feel like this video is going to be so, so long. So we're definitely going to do a part two or maybe like a historical romance wrap up. If there are any more Johanna Lindsay's that you guys think I should read, please leave them down below. I would love to get to them. I'm still undecided. I feel like because a lot of these books are a little bit older, there is a little bit of a problematic like some problematic um things to them that I don't think would be acceptable in like new literature consent for one I know I'm really talking about that a lot but I just feel like that is so important for me when I'm reading romance I don't really like dubious consent I know I talked about that on the live show and I've mentioned it before but there's just some things that make me a little uncomfortable okay so with um some older historical romances you'll see that a lot a lot and I know it's a Viking I know that the books that I read were Viking romances and that's really kind of what happened so I'm rambling I don't know how I feel about Johanna Lindsay I really liked two of the books that I read so Gentle Rogue and Hearts of Flame they were sweet they were steamy our main characters were very strong-willed just I did like those but then I really didn't like Fires of Winter so I'm gonna continue I don't think she's going to be like my new all-time favorite historical romance author. There's just some other historical romance authors I like a little bit better like Lisa Kleypas, Kerrigan Byrne, Sarah McLean. Who else? So many. What is the conclusion to this video? I have no idea. <laughs> In anything from this video, I would recommend reading Hearts of Flame. Strong Viking warrior woman who is a complete badass and their romance is really really sweet. I love the way it ended. I loved how they learned to accept each other and the different cultures um, because one was a Viking, one was a Christian, I think. It was, it was such a good time. So, yes, <sighs> my hair is everywhere. So I'm going to end the video here. I know this video was a little bit of a mess. I promise there will be a part two to this video. And yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with me. It means the world to me, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.